Hello everyone, praise be to God, and welcome back to the logical journey of the Zumbinis. So, today we're showing off the final solution for the allergic cliffs, the heuristic solution on very, very hard. And this is the last time we'll be coming back to the allergic cliffs. So, it starts the same way. Find a Zumbini that has at least three traits in common with another Zumbini, as long as they're not an identical twin. And send them across. So, these two have three traits in common. We will send them. Hey, dude. That worked. That works. Excellent. How about this guy? Alrighty. Okay, so there's something about this guy that he didn't like. Either that, or there was all of these Zumbinis had something that that uh, Cliff didn't like. I'm gonna assume it was the sunglasses, so let's try sending all the sunglass Zumbinis up here. Alright. So, this cliff was allergic to sunglasses, that's one of the three traits, and that was a type of eye, so now we've got to find two other traits that will divide it up into eight groups on each side. Again, not relating to the eyes. Let's try this lady down here. Okay, so purple noses or green hat hair is essentially the cause of that allergy. Let's try purple nose. Alright, green hat hair goes up there. Alright, everybody with green hat hair go up there. So now we've had eyes and hair as an allergy. So the remaining one, there will only be one more Zumbini going up here. So it'll be a Zumbini with a unique feature. It could be literally anybody with a certain color. Well... Hmm. So it's either feet... Or it's a certain colored nose. If it's a certain color nose, it's not going to be the red nose Zumbini, so we can send her down there. Alrighty. So this one, you can't really suss out, but... I guess at this point it's just trial and error which one makes it across. Alright. So it appears he was either roller skates or an you orange nose. Did it! So that one was a little trickier. It was that one that heuristic did not really help us out on, but it can on other uh, times. So let's try it again. Find our two zumbinis. All right, this guy and this lady. All right. How about this guy? Okay. So either she doesn't like green noses, or he doesn't like blue noses. I really hope it's green noses go down here. Okay, excellent. This is really going to help out. So this cliff is allergic to green noses. We've already got seven Zumbinis over here. So at this point, we can either try to find the one of our Z the Zumbini who has like a one-of-a-kind trait, send them down there, or we can literally just trial and error send every Zumbini up there and wait for one to get rejected. So I'm going to try to see if I can find the one-of-a-kind trait that is not related to a nose. Well, at the very least, I know these two Zumbinis are going up here because they are identical twins. So let's see. Not spiky hair. It could be any of these three Zumbinis, to be perfectly honest. So let's just keep sending Zumbinis up here until we meet one that gets rejected. Alrighty. So that Cliff did not like ponytail hair or green noses, and then as some other trait that doesn't really matter. And yeah, because we knew eight on each side, we could do that, and the heuristic helped us out there quite a bit. So let's try that just one last time. Alrighty, I already see my targets. Of course. Seriously, I feel like this guy always sneezes the Zumbini back. Alright, so it was not springs, which is interesting. But whatever traits could have sent them up? It could have been sunglasses go up. Let's try sunglasses go up. Alright, sunglasses go up. 
So something about that guy also goes up, and it's not spring. So it's either mm -hmm. bowl cut or orange nose. Let's try orange nose. All right, bowl cuts go up. Alrighty, so we've had allergic to sunglasses and allergic to bowl cuts. So the last one will either be nose or feet. And it'll be belong to two Zumbinis over here. So let's see. It's not going to be a nose, so it's going to be a certain type of feet. And it's going to be shoes. Pink shoes go up here. What? No? Well, that's different. All right, that's that's different. Maybe my calculations were wrong with the bowl cuts. So let's see. Sunglasses are one. Oh, it's sleepy eyes. Sleepy eyes go up here. Because the guys with the bull cuts up there also had sleepy eyes, so the, okay, there the heuristic almost actually you screwed us over, which is the you danger of using the heuristic solution. The heuristic solution can make it a lot easier, but it also can cause unnecessary problems, which is why the algorithmic solution is more general and more safe. The heuristic solution is generally more efficient, but also not necessarily guaranteed to be better all the time. Well, let's try one last time. Of course. He always sneezes. Even though I should have a 50-50 shot. Alrighty. Red noses and propellers seem to be good. Let's try another red nose. Alright, I'm going on the assumption red noses were safe to go down there, so let's try other people. Alright. Nope. Maybe he doesn't like propellers either. Let's try more propeller zoominis up here. Alrighty, he doesn't like propellers. So at this point, we've got seven zoominis up there already. So the last zoomini will not be relating to nose or feet, so it'll be eyes or hair, and it'll be a one of a kind. So it could be sunglasses, could be this guy. It also could be her, I suppose, because she's got unique hair. We just had we had two sets of twins. That's kind of insane. Well, we might as well just try these guys one at a time. All right. So we didn't like sunglasses, essentially. So he was allergic to red noses, propellers, and sunglasses. But we've got eight zoominis up there, which means these other two are guaranteed to be able to go down here. Thank you, Euristic. You almost screwed me over last time, but you, you helped me out this time. So I think this level gives you a good example of what the algorithmic solutions are like and what the heuristic solutions are like. The algorithmic solutions generally are tougher to do, but they're a lot more consistent. Whereas the heuristic solutions, they can help you out a lot, and they can make it so you do it more efficiently as well as can help you determine the what is accepted and what's rejected more quickly. But it can also come back and bite you in the butt later if you're not careful. So yeah, that's a good example of all the different solutions on one level. Thanks for watching, I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in next time, we'll be moving on to the Stone Cold Caves. That will also be interesting. And not every level is going to have an algorithmic solution and a heuristic solution for every single difficulty. Like, no. These two probably will. But I know for a fact Pizza Pass only has one solution per difficulty that's the best. So look forward to that. Until we meet again, have a great day and God bless.